What's up, everybody? It's your boy Q. You know who and I am. Well, we back, baby, with another video, man. Welcome back. Thank y'all for coming. Kicking it with me today. So, great to title video. That's right, man. We're going to talk about tire inflation. And this question came up based on when I got my new tires. If you haven't seen that video, go back and watch it. I did go with some new Nitto uh, Ridge Grapplers basically hybrid tire these are 35 by 12 and a half by 20 inch rims for those of you who are wondering so i just got these only had on for about two weeks now they installed them at the shop you'll see here in this video they set the tire psi to like 55 56 and i got to read online and most people saying that's way too high only time you want to inflate your tire psi that high is when you're towing or having something loaded down in your bed something like that the ride so far with the tires is a very soft smooth ride now, not soft smooth very smooth minimum road noise but it is a little rough and i think that has something to do with the psi when you look you're going to see a lot of people recommending different psis no matter where you search somebody's always going to have a different answer if i had to sum it up most people running theirs between 32 to 40 anywhere that range and then some people say they go off-road they drop down like 28 even some people be lower, it's like 18. So it just depends on what you're doing, your application use of your vehicle. Mine is a highway driven vehicle for the most part. So I'm probably gonna set it for more of a highway type build. I looked online and was just researching. You can call Nitto to see what they recommend to PSI. I have not done that. I may do that. But I did come across one interesting test that I wanna share with y'all today. And it basically is the chalk test. That's right chalk test so you probably want to cue how the heck are you going to test your psi with chalk and it's actually very interesting i'm going to actually go ahead and show y'all that right here right now this method basically came from old old off-road guys back in the days how they used to test proper inflation of tires basically what i'm going to do i'm going to hop in my truck here and i'm just going to go that way 100 yards 100 feet forward in a straight line and 100 feet back to my same starting spot do not turn the wheel do not do anything like that straight forward straight back my chalk here as you can see and i got my tire and basically try to choose a light color don't choose something dark that you can't see and we're just going to start here and go straight across and just color this in so we get it and we just go chalk it these don't really chalk that well so there's one that chalk is very light, probably some cheap chalk, probably got a little more expensive chalk. This is like a dollar, a dollar store. But anyway, you can still see. What you want to happen is, you want all this chalk here. Sorry, I got to shake. This chalk here should be gone equally across the whole tire. Now, let's say for example, only this section is gone and this whole section remains. That means that the tire is probably overinflated and you're only getting contact from this side of the tire over, if that makes it a proper contact. So yeah, let's go ahead, hop in the truck, go forward, go back, and we'll see what kind of results we're gonna get. guys so i just parked and so let's see what we got as far as results so here's where i had my chalk as you can see so as you can see the whole middle part of where i put the chalk is gone all that is gone however here on the side there still some chalk there not too much actually so about uh, about right here from touching as well as it's on the inside i'm not sure if y'all can see that it's pretty dark and my body is blocking it so i'm not sure the camera didn't catch it but there as well on the outside so yep you see there and there but the middle is completely gone so what that tells me is that my tires are a little over inflated and i'm not getting full contact from the tire not as bad as i thought it was gonna be actually so let's go check the rear really quick see what we got back there and again it is in the shade i apologize so here it is on the rear same story you can see here all the chalk in the middle is gone however i got a pretty good little patch back here so probably about right here all this over so you can see all that is still there same thing on the interior i forgot i did this rear as well guys so i'll show y'all you have a much better picture here because the sun is coming i'm not blocking it but you can see there there's still a pretty good amount of chalk left on that sidewall right there and you can see here on the interior as well as i said the tires over inflated just to say, i thought it was gonna be a lot worse than what it was so what i'm gonna do unfortunately guys i'm not gonna go and air out these tires and do the test over and over what i'm gonna do 
I'm gonna go to Discount Tire. It's less than a mile from my house. And so my tire should still be pretty cold. If you, some of you those are wondering like, oh, your tires are high, they're gonna be inflated, the number's gonna change. Ideally, when you wanna check your tire pressure, you wanna do it when it's cold. And if you have to add air to your tires, you wanna to try to drive it no more than a mile to keep an accurate reading. I'm gonna drop it down to 40, come back and do the test again and see where we are at at 40 PSI. I'm gonna leave it at 40 unless I get another time where I want my tires cold to go back because my tires are gonna be heated up and the reading won't be accurate, which is the reason I'm not going back after I drop them to 40. So let's go to this side tire, get some air taken out, and then we're going to come back, do the test again and see what we got. All right guys, so he is actually right now taking out tire. It's funny, so my sensor, he's doing the left front tire, but the sensor is showing that he's doing the right front tire. So that's interesting to see. I was worried about my TPMS sensors going off dropping the tires lower than what they had them at, or cause I'm not sure what they set these sensors at, but it seems like they're okay and they're not going off, but fingers crossed that they don't go off. I probably have to get them reset or I can get my SCT scanner and kind of clear the code, but we'll see, hopefully no issues. Also, quick shout out to Discount Tire, man. If you have any free air, air pressure tech, inflate it, deflate it, puncture hole, nail. I mean, one time I had my Nissan Maxima got a nail in it. They patched it for free. So shout out to Discount Tire. If you have any, anything related to tire, PSI, things like that, they will help you out most time for free. All right, guys, I'm back. Here we go. Let's do the second test. So I'm gonna go ahead and reapply my chalk here. And then we're gonna do the test again and see what we get. I know you guys probably screaming, Q, man, you can do it yourself. Get you a little tire pressure checker and air it out that way. I'm gonna be honest with you, I do not feel like doing it. I'm just gonna be honest with you. I'm being lazy. I don't feel like doing that today. Let's do it again, apply chalk and see what happens. guys so we did the test so let's see what we got and I'll be honest with you I had a hard time finding the chalk pattern on here which means I'm doing it did a pretty good job so you can see here is the chalk pattern right there so much better you see right here as well these two spots so one two much better than it was before going the inside as you can see I can't really see in there but it's better than it was before for sure back here let's go check the rear and see what we got the rear it's about the same maybe so but so you can see here here's the rear still got a good get a good bit of um what you call it there on the sides as you can see there as well so not as good as results on the rear as it was on the front but so what i'll probably do i'm not sure i might drop the rear to 38 and go from there but i'm not going to go too much lower than 38 36 probably so yeah man that's it if you want to learn how to check your tires and see if they are getting you're getting uh, tire contact throughout the entire tire and not a portion of the tire that's the way to do it i'm not saying this is a fail proof way to do it guys it's just something i read on the internet and I've people been using it for years and years and years i thought it'd be very interesting to do myself and see i've never done it before so yeah that's how you want to do it you want to try it for yourself super easy to do just get some chalk i think probably get a bigger chalk but actually that chalk did work fine but something a little more not cheap as a dollar you're gonna get what you pay for but if you're here right now go ahead just do me a favor just stop what you're doing don't exit the video just go ahead hit the subscribe button hit that thumbs up hit the notification bell come kick it with me in red with more, many more things to do so that's all i got thank y'all for watching man it's your boy q you know who thank you for kicking me kicking it with me make sure you like share subscribe man y'all enjoy the rest of y'all day and we'll catch y'all next baby peace